Hey, my name is Boy Jock, and welcome back to my channel. I'm a hooper that gives advice to other hoopers that want to reach their goals. Here's exactly what NBA players eat, and I'm not going to give you a confusing breakdown on macros, micros, calories in and out. I'm just going to give you the straight up truth. I never really liked eating when I was younger, and when I did eat, it was just eating whatever I really wanted to eat. Anything that tasted good and gave me energy. Until one day, I played a full basketball game on an empty stomach. And that was the first day that I fainted from playing a game. I completely lost consciousness. I had no food in my system at all. If that's happened to you, you know exactly what I mean. And if it hasn't happened to you, consider yourself very lucky because it's not a good feeling at all. After I woke up in an emergency room, I had no idea where I was. I had no idea what was happening. All I knew is I was very hungry and very tired. And the nurse told me that if I wanted to play sport, I needed to eat food. She asked me what my diet was and I just told her the truth. A lot of energy drinks, a lot of lollies or candy for my American viewers. Basically anything that tasted good. And she told me that if you want to play a sport, you cannot do that. And it's not like I had a really bad diet. I just didn't eat when I was supposed to eat. And if I didn't like the food, I wouldn't even look at it, <laughs> let alone eat it. So after this day, I just asked people, what am I supposed to do? I also went on YouTube to find out what else I could do. The one takeaway that I had was get protein powder. So I added protein powder into my diet and literally nothing changed. It was exactly the same. I still ate what I ate before because I actually didn't know what to eat. And by me doing this, it took so much away from my performance on the court, my lifts in the gym and my skill sessions as well. All the advice I was getting was super overwhelming. I just needed somebody to tell me, eat this so you can get this result. I don't want somebody to just overload me with information. I need you to show me what to do so I can do it for myself. I almost gave up because everything I was doing wasn't working. And the only thing that I added was just protein powder. And then I usually throw in a whole banana. Then we're gonna add some protein. Now what I like to do just for a little bit of taste is add some protein. Then I usually add one half of protein. Now of course it wouldn't really be a shake without some ice cubes. So we're gonna add some protein. At that point, I had had enough of listening to everybody else. And then luckily, one day I was just surfing on YouTube and I found this video on NBA players that stated that they had nutritionists. I think until this day, that's the fastest thing that I have ever searched up in my life. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. I set the appointment and I went and saw them as soon as possible. And basically the advice that I got was very simple. Eat three meals a day with two snacks. And these snacks are pre-workout meals and post-workout meals. I'll add an example in the description, but basically breakfast before 10 a.m., depending on when you're working out, have a pre-workout meal one hour before your workout, and then have a post-workout meal. It could be an hour after your workout as well. And then lunch around 1 to 3 p.m. And lastly, dinner from about 5 to 7 p.m. The three main sources of food that we get is carbs, protein, and fats. And by fats, I mean healthy fats. Carbs give you energy. Protein builds your muscles and helps you recover. And fats helps your body to absorb nutrients and produce important hormones. And the results I got from this were I had more energy than I ever had before. My performance got better. I actually started to build muscle. I could make better decisions on the court because my mind was actually clear. And I wasn't thinking about how hungry I was or how tired I was. By me making my best decisions and choices, this actually supported my first preseason playing at the NBA on one level. I actually ended up having the best game of my life, even though it was a preseason game. I felt so much more confident in myself and my abilities. I felt so much stronger because all the work that I was putting in the weight room was actually translating on the court. I could actually push myself in training and games and also in the weight room because I had a sustainable source of energy that was coming from the food that I was eating. My mind was always clear and it wasn't foggy and I never felt too tired to perform. Now, if you wanna transform your game and you desire to become more of a professional athlete, I've actually made another video that has showed you how to structure a basketball workout. And it should pop up on the screen sometime soon. Don't rest in the middle, rest at the end.